Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is your reading for Sun Moon Rising. Ah! Okay, well, Sun Moon Rising, uh, Leo. We already have a humongous stack out. What do we have here? So the King of Wands with the Knight of Wands. So moving forward with your passions, your dreams, your desires, there's something you need to get the ball rolling. Like get the show on the road. Like there's something that you need to put a fire under your ass. And you might be being kind of greedy with your money. Or you might be just wasteful as fuck with it. I don't know. I dated a Leo once and he was the best, but he was very wasteful. My, um, I think my Venus is in Leo. My loved one is in Leo. But maybe you guys are being a little bit too greedy or too um, wasteful with your resources and whatever. But you've been consistent with whatever you're doing. But very slow. This horse is slow as shit. But the Knight of Wands says, like, giddy up, motherfucker. <laughs> like, get to it because you got some shit to manifest. The King of Cups upside down. So maybe you've been emotionally um, unfulfilled lately. I know, like, <clears throat> Leos have such a big heart. You guys are, like, huge lovers. But maybe take a time to rest and recuperate from all these things that your mind has you like rolling through these like you're just turning your wheels and turning your wheels and turning your wheels and you're not taking the proper time to rest so if you rest on your mind and in your emotions your love is going to come yay so it's gonna be a time of emotional fulfillment like sharing your cup with somebody like Maybe it's time to go out and get a drink. You never know who you'll meet, but after rest. Make sure you rest first. <laughs> because this is, okay, so you're gonna have emotional fulfillment and money, or like, it, some things feel just as good as money. The material world don't always have to be money. It could be a brand new job opportunity. It could be something where you have these extra finances or have this extra time even, because time is money, or have this extra resources to find some love or celebrate with your family or find the love that you really need, which is in yourself. When you love yourself and you care about you, then other people are naturally drawn to you. When you give a fuck about your passions, people are like, ooh, what's he doing? Why is he at home? Mm, what's she doing? Mm, I haven't seen her in a while. Mm, people are all in your business. So make sure you take time for yourself because people want to know what you're doing when you're taking time for yourself because they don't have lives and they are not looking for themselves. So Ace of Swords says you have a new opportunity that is coming. And with this Knight of Cups, it says, this I always reminds me of Hermes, so there's a divine message for you, Leo, with a divine opportunity. <laughs> Let's see what else we have coming. So, I don't know, but definitely, ah, ooh. And we have the hermit card falling out saying, take time for yourself. Take time to find your own light. Take that time of rest and recuperation. Stop being such a ham and fucking go home and take a break. Work on the things that you used to love that you don't do anymore, maybe because you're scared of what people think or you lost touch with it because you grew up or whatever. Like, now is definitely a time to be creative and find you. Find the things that you love to do without anybody else. You see, this guy is perfecting his craft, doing what he loves to do. All the bitches are wondering where he's at. <laughs> Bitch, I'm busy. <laughs> Oh, oh, Ace of Pentacles, there's a new opportunity um, for a new job, a new career, the same thing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm slap happy right now. Um, this might be uh, something, it's something <laughs> that is going to have to do with your passions because a queen is about helping um, everyone, nurturing everyone, including yourself, and just, you know, bringing people together, bringing people together to celebrate and be happy and go forth towards your divine mission, whatever it must be. You will find people who would just come out of nowhere when you're happy. 
people, I don't know if anybody else has experienced synchronicity, if you're going through that, if you haven't felt it, literally like, I'm just going to tell you guys, I was walking with my dog one day, and a bird is like, harassing me, I'm with my dog, it stops on a sign, and a rainbow lights up on his belly, two seconds later, this kid's like, dad, rainbow, and I'm like, this is not real life, am I Cinderella, that shit starts happening to you, and people you never thought would come fucking find you, they start popping out of like bushes and shit, not really, but pretty much, so charge forward with whatever your fucking ideas are, you got three jacks here that's saying, go, 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 except this little one, but jacks, nice, whatever, they're saying, fucking go on. This one charges ahead without fears, without giving a fuck what people think. And the queen of pentacles, she nurtures herself, she nurtures her friends, she nurtures her lovers, she nurtures everyone. This is the divine feminine energy coming in to say, listen, nurture yourself so your own cup is filled and then it will overflow to everyone else. But you have to make sure you are filled before you can fill anybody else. So make sure you're taking the time to care for you. Then we can care about other people because the best thing you can do for other people is inspire them. And the Queen of Swords is saying like the same thing only with your mind and ideas. Nurture people's ideas. Nurture people and don't stop cutting people down. Don't slice them in half with the sword. Build them up. Use it to like wheat. Think of like um, Arya Stark or whatever. Arya? Arya Stark? Anyways, that's that Athene energy like you can sew them up or you can slice them down. And Leos have a tendency of saying whatever the fuck's on their mind. But you guys do it. Sometimes you guys can be tactless with it. So be careful what comes out of your mouth. Think about it a little bit. I know you guys always mean love, but it might not always come across like love. But you have two decisions to make here. So maybe you've been weighing two in your mind. Um, there's two options. You have no idea which one to take. You are completely blindfolded and at a crossroads um, in this moment. So let's clarify that Two of Swords and see. It might be between like, God, they keep popping out. The material in the spiritual world. Ooh, definitely. Coming together for a creative project. Um, you see how they're in the dark? They... Which that, uh, that always confuses me with this card, because why would they be in the dark if they're celebrating and coming together for this great creative whatever? But you have to go to this dark space where you're empty, where you're hollow, so you can receive this divine intervention, like, from above and give you dope ideas, because there's nothing new under the sun. There's only new shit over the rainbow. That's why over the rainbow, bluebird sing, and whatever the fuck that song is, over the rainbow. So make sure you are careful with who you're giving to, because if it's not balanced, it's really not worth it. Everything's a flow of energy. If you're giving something, make sure you're receiving. Maybe you're giving too much. And that's why you have this little card over here back in the beginning that said you're being wasteful. Or you could be receiving too much. Are you being a pain in the ass? <laughs> are you receiving way more than you deserve? The Page of Cups comes out and says, like, talk to your cup. You, the cup is you. You're the cup. The vessel is you. You're the lamp. Rub your belly and find the genie or your mind or your heart or whatever. Because the genie is your Jesus, your innermost child. Pull your little genie Jesus out and rub yourself and like pray, meditate, whatever you need to do. When you pray, you're asking for something. When you meditate, you're receiving something. So know when to empty yourself completely out and receive and know when to give thanks or whatever to get whatever you desire and the king of pentacles definitely gets what he desires <laughs> he is the king of his castle he has everything material wealth happiness all that shit he's the king of his castle but what more can you say he's the king of pentacles but something has you suspended something you need to let go of and that's what this decision is about. You're holding on to something, and it's like, are you going to go this way or this way? There's something, a structure, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it is things about yourself that you need to break down and get to the bottom of before you get left out in the cold, because these people aren't with the king of pinnacles energy. These people are outside the temple. These people are starving. <laughs> these people don't have any wealth. 
these people are sad. So maybe you've been smug or kind of arrogant or been fighting about shit that you mm, probably shouldn't have been and you know it. And you feel kind of happy. Look at this guy. He's fucking happy. He stole these motherfucking swords. He's like, yeah, fuck you guys. Ha <laughs> ha But don't be this guy. Let that shit go. Let the pettiness go. That's 2018. In 2019, we're only killing motherfuckers with kindness. So the sun came out to make its appearance and say, everything is going to be okay. Shine your brightest, Leo. I'm going to pull some from the devil deck to give you a final message. I love these ones. Ooh. <laughs> Money. Make it rain. So material wealth is definitely coming. There's a big opportunity afoot. Let me pull one more. <laughs> Don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Like I said, meditate, be hollow. I'm trying to force the cards to give you an extra message. It's not letting me. You guys have a wonderful day. Check out my other videos. Check out my other channel with spiritual advice and other things about my spiritual awakening, kundalini, all that shit. Check out my website, tylerdaysantis.com. You can donate. You can buy tarot readings. You can subscribe, like, share, comment if you like this video. Bye, Leo.